Saints, in order for us to make it in this evil and adulterous generation, we're going to have to believe in the word of God. Listen, there are things that's coming up on us that money is not going to be able to buy you out. The doctor is not going to be able to get you out. It's only the Lord. And saints, we got to find ourselves believing the Lord again. I was going to church all my life. For 19 years, I went to church, but I didn't believe. See, going to church don't save you. It's a relationship with Jesus. It's giving your life to Jesus. It's believing in his word that saves you. You can hear all the word you want to, but if you don't believe it. And so this one, Nathaniel, the Lord said, when you were under the fig tree, I knew you. And it's so amazing to me, I'm writing this book, right? But but uh, all my childhood, my grandfather had this big fig tree in his backyard, and I always played under that fig tree. They know that was scripture, right? But you got to understand what the fig represents. Fig represents faith in God. God. Amen. Amen. It says why you were under the fig tree. You didn't know it, but I knew that you would come to have faith in God. And listen, say, our faith in God is not based on how we're feeling. When times get hard, he is still God. When you don't have money, he is still Amen. God. Amen. When you are sick, he is yes. still God. You've got to believe again. Yes. No matter what Lord. you're going yes. through, he is still God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. People always ask, well, where was God when this happened to me? He was in the very same place when he nailed his son on the cross for what was going to happen to you. you got to believe again. He is the king of kings. He is the Lord of glory. He has never lost the battle. He is our savior. He is our way maker. He is our bridge over troubled water. He is our doctor when we need him. He is our all in our all. He's the lily of the valley. He's the bright and shining star. He's the alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning. He's the end. He's the king of glory. He's our soon coming king. He is Mary's little lamb. He's our great high priest. He is the great shalom. He is the Lord God. We got to believe that again. There's nobody like him in all of the world. So now thank you. He looks at the Lord and he says, my Lord and my God. And Christ says, you believe me just because I say you under fig tree? Thank you, Lord. He says, you're going to see greater things than this. And I want to tell you, saints, if you believe God, you're going to see greater things than what you see. Thank you, Lord. Are you with me? So I was looking at this picture at Pastor Leon's house, and he said that he used to come out here in an old van and a boom box. If you keep believing the Lord, greater things will happen. Are you with me? Amen. Amen. But you got to believe. Amen. Now notice this. I want to switch gears for a minute. The disciples walked with Jesus. Some say three to three and a half years, and at the end of their walk, they begin to doubt the Lord. Saints, what I'm trying to say, it's okay for you to have your doubts, but you can't live in your doubts. It's okay for you to have your fears, but you can't live in your fears. Why? Because the word of God say that he has not given us a spirit of fear, which means fear is a, fear is a spirit, and that spirit don't come from the Lord. But what has God given us? See, while you're concentrating on your fears, God tells you what to concentrate on. I've given you the spirit of power. Amen. What is power? <laughs> When you don't have it, you realize it. But when you have it, hallelujah, what is power? You don't have to worry about whether or not you have it. God say he has given it to you. He has given you power. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible tells us that our Lord and Savior was crucified, nailed to a cross, told the disciples, don't worry. I'm coming back. Thank you, Lord. Man. Hallelujah. Don't worry, I'll be back. They've watched this man heal the sick, open the eyes of the blind, raise the dead, and he says, Listen, don't worry, I'm coming back. 
See, if we would begin to believe the Lord, half the people that's in the hospital could go home and the condition that you're suffering with could be alleviated if you just believe God. Amen. Amen. Better yet, if you just forgive somebody, your body will get better already. Amen. Amen. So the Bible tells us, listen, listen, let's, let, let, let's look at this. The Bible says in John chapter 20, these are the disciples who refuse to believe the Lord. Somebody say, you got to believe again. You got to believe again. It says, so when it was evening on the third day, the first day of the week, and when the doors were shut, when the disciples, uh, where, where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews. Now notice this, the Bible says, the Lord didn't give us a spirit of fear. And when you have a, ra a right relationship and a healthy relationship to God, you shouldn't fear anyone other than God. Man, amen. Praise God. So they're in the room, the doors are closed, they just watch their leader, their master being nailed to a cross, and they are terrified. Amen. And I love this passage of scripture because if Jesus wanted to get through the door, he couldn't. So the Bible says he just appeared. Never say he opened the door. He just appeared. Why? Because he's God. Thank you, Lord. Man, thank you. The Bible says that Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, peace be with you. Notice that when you are fearful, the Lord gives us his word and it's a word of peace. You know, one of the things that I refuse to do, I refuse to worry. And every time worry try to set itself into my life, saints, listen, what I do is I turn to the word of God. And the word of God brings peace to all of my worry. I was worried this morning, but the word of God healed me. Jeff, I've saved you. I've sanctified you. You're going to be okay. Peace be with you. Shalom. Go. I was kind of worried. I asked Dewey if he wanted to take my place, and he went and hid somewhere. <laughs> and when he had said this, he showed them both his hands and his side. You know the thing I love about this? Jesus is working with unbelief now, and he knows that his disciples don't, don't believe that he's raised from the dead. They were all from Missouri. They had to be shown <laughs> and the body of Christ is acting like that today We need a special miracle from God The miracle that God has given us is his word Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So he had to show them so that they could see That he was the risen Lord Listen saints if you don't believe anything